Hi, Grade 7! For today, our topic is points, lines and planes, line segments, rays, intersecting lines, and kinds of angles. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module Number 1. Hi, math lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know. Now, here is our objectives. At the end of this module, you are expected to number one, represent point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models. Number two, illustrate subsets of a line. And number three, classify the different kinds of angles. What is it? Lesson number one, points, lines, and planes. I have your burger with sesame seeds on top. Here's a pencil. Oh, there's a mole. Here are the mathematical models of a point. Point. Points. It is the most basic geometric concept. All other geometric figures are made up of a collection of points. A point is only an idea in our mind. Thus, it has only location but no size nor shape. It can be modeled by a dot. A point is named with a capital letter. Points. I have here an illustration of a point. The point below is called point A and point B. Here is point A. And here is point B. I have here balloons in a string. I have here a thread. A line can be modeled by string or thread. However, the concept of line is longer than any string or thread. Lines Lines It is a straight, continuous arrangement of infinitely many points. Its length is infinite. It extends infinitely in two directions. It has no thickness. A line is named by a single lowercase grip letter or by any two points on a line. A line symbol is placed above the letters. Lines. I have here an illustration of a line. The point below is called line M, line AB, or line BA. I'm writing on the blackboard. Here is an example of a carpet. A carpet or a blackboard is a physical model of plane. However, a plane is wider, longer, and thinner than any carpet or blackboard. Planes Planes It is a flat surface that extends infinitely along its length and width. It is like an infinite sheet of paper. It has length and width but no thickness. A plane is named a single script capital letter or by any three points in the plane which are not on the same line. Planes I have here an illustration of a plane. The plane shown below can be named by Plane N or Plane LOV. Lesson number 2 Line segments, rays, and intersecting lines. Line segments a line segment is a part of a line consisting of two endpoints and all points in between. Now here is an illustration of a line segment. The line segment may be called line segment AB or line segment BA. Its endpoints are point A and point B. Suppose that the length of this line segment is 5 centimeters. 
we write line segment AB is equal to 5 centimeters. Ray A ray is a part of a line with only one endpoint and extending in only one direction. A ray is named with its endpoint first, followed by another point on the ray. Now here is an illustration of a ray. The ray shown above can be named Ray GA, Ray GP, and Ray AP. Opposite rays. Opposite rays are rays with a common endpoint but extending in opposite directions. Now look at our illustration. I have here line BX. Let's identify the opposite rays. The opposite rays shown above can be named Ray OB and Ray OX. Let's have example. Now look at this figure. Name all the segments, rays, and opposite rays in the figure below. Here is our solutions. The line segments are line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment AC, line segment BE, and line segment BD. The rays are ray BA, ray BE, ray BD, ray BC, ray AB or AC, and ray CB or CA. The opposite rays are ray BA and ray BC. Intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines on the same plane having a common point. Now look at the illustration. In the example figure below, point X is the common point and is called the point of intersection. We have here line OP and line MN. Line OP and line MN intersect at point X. Lesson number 3. Angles. An angle is formed by two non-collinear rays with a common endpoint. I have here an illustration of an angle. The two rays are the sides of the angle. The common endpoint of the two rays is the vertex of the angle. Let's use again the figure to identify the parts of an angle. Ray OT and Ray OY are the sides of the angle. Point O is the vertex. We can name this angle in three different ways. Number one, using the three points. Vertex in the middle. Using the illustration, we have angle TOY or angle YOT. Number two, using the letter of the vertex. In our example, that is angle O. Number three, using the label of the arc. In our example, that is angle 1. Let's try example number 1. Look at the given figure. Name the angles in the figure. Now here is our solutions. Angle BC Angle ABC Angle ACB Angle BCD and angle ACD or angle 1. Let's try example number 2. Now look at the illustration. Name the angle in the figure in three different ways. Identify its vertex and sides. Let's have our solutions. Here are the possible names using three different ways. Angle RUN Angle U and angle 1. For our vertex, we have U or point U. And for our two sides, we have ray UN and ray UR. Kinds of angles. There are three kinds of angles. 
acute angle, right angle, and obtuse angle. Now let's use different models to represent the kinds of angles. This is acute angle. This one is a right angle. And this is an obtuse angle. Let us look at these angles formed by the common objects. Acute angle has a small opening. Right angle is perpendicular. And obtuse angle has the greatest opening. Now let's identify acute angle. An acute angle is greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. Here is our example. Angle ABC is 40 degrees. Therefore, angle ABC is an acute angle. Now let's identify right angle. A right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Look at our example. Angle DEF is 90 degrees. Therefore, angle DEF is a right angle. Now let's identify obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Now look at our example. Angle GHI is 130 degrees. Therefore, angle GHI is an obtuse angle. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!